Always. I want to be pleasantly surprised by Blizzard for a change. Can we just have that one time? Just a pleasant surprise? Uh, it just pisses me off, man. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I specified pleasantly surprised. You know what I mean? I mean, come on, give us give us something. Did I just do hell? No, I did nightmare. Okay. Just once. I mean, just come on. Just just give us something. Throw us a bone where we go. Yay! They they actually did something that I like. Which then, you know, it go towards it goes towards the the whole expectations on D four just get worse. Spring something on us. Make it just just a, a early Christmas. Any anything. Oh yeah, Aaron. Um, yeah, good luck on one. <laughs> I that's I don't understand why these people still shill for Blizzard, man. I, I don't get it. I mean, I gotta be perfectly honest. The best thing Llama could do for the community as a whole is actually push back on Blizzard just a little bit. I honestly think that would have a more, a, a better effect than, than what he's doing. I mean, perfectly honest, man. And, and it might just not be his personality. My personality is more of, oh, I don't know. I don't shy away from conflict, put it that way. And I don't really care if they like me or not. It's when, I say, when I say that, I mean Blizzard. Give me a good product. And I'll like you. I mean, what's he gain from that, though? Do you get? Do you think he's getting paid? It, it's got to be monetary. I mean, that, that's the only thing I could see. I mean, but even then, if it's not like a decent amount of money, I, I, I wouldn't really care. Yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I don't get it. I mean, I gotta be perfectly honest, man. I mean, I think in the long run, if he pushed back and got us better content, that would mean better things for his channel. I mean, you see what I'm saying? If I mean, if he actually pushed back and and tried to get them into a position where they would actually provide us better content, I think in the long run that does better for his content. So shilling for him, it's it's. I mean, it's kind of a short-term gain, I guess. Maybe I don't know. Maybe more people sub or something. I don't know. I, I feel like in the long term, if you get if you push harder for better content, that overall gets you better uh, returns on you know if you're on your brand, I guess. Can we even get good stuff in Nightmare? I mean, that's kind of my point. It. it it's it's almost like the way he's handling it, and maybe he just lo he does like the terror zone stuff. I don't know. Maybe he does like it. Y'all didn't notice that? Like the, all the bigger guys are. We we had said this. Yeah, Tommy. I I actually don't. I I, I watched to see. I watched his video to see if he would push back against the Terra Zone stuff because, you know, as soon as I saw it, I was like, eh, that's kind of, eh. But he was all over it, dude. That's what I'm saying, Aaron. I feel like if he... I think he just bent over and took this Terra Zone thing and tried to spin it as a good. Thinking maybe to appease Blizzard. I don't know. I don't know the reason behind it. Maybe he does like it. But... I don't know if you guys were here when we were talking about when the Terror Zone stopped, dropped. I said Talrosh's tomb would be the hot spot because the density in there. 
and uh, now there's a lot of people pushing back, you know, pushing out bit, uh, content saying that uh, Tal Rosh is probably going to be the better farming spot. I think, who did I watch last night? Was it a DeBrunsky? Somebody else said it. But I, 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 I feel like it's a little self-defeating just to take whatever they give us as a good thing. I mean, because he built his brand on the original D2, so it's not like, you know, I mean, he went years building his brand on the game that had no changes. So to just, you know, bend over with it now is just kind of silly to me. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, it's his brand. He could do whatever he wants. I mean, and honestly, if I thought they pushed something out that was decent, that I liked, I'd say so. I mean, it's no big deal. I just don't think this Terror Zone thing's it. And I don't want to think that I'm like one of those guys who just constantly hates on Blizzard. I mean, I feel like if they actually had put out like the QO, the quality of life stuff that we were kind of shilling for, I, I'd be singing them praises to be perfectly honest. I'd be happy with it. If they'd have put out um, even just stackables, I'd be like, okay, that's a pretty good start. <laughs> But they, they went this terror zone route, and it's like, you guys suck, man. Yeah, Mike. Well, that's my point, though, because they, they took the shortcut route with this terror zone thing. I, I mean, I talked about it in earlier streams. That They didn't have to do a whole lot to get this terror zone thing to work. You could get it implemented pretty quick. Um, but adding content to the terror zone, that's a lot of new stuff, which would require writing a bunch of new code. Let, let me rephrase. Like, this Terror Zone thing is not a lot of new code. A lot of it is modifications to where you make, yeah, you know, maybe make some database changes or add a new column in the database. There's, there's not a lot of coding required. A new, like what you're saying, like a new elite or something, that's, a, that's like a crazy new, that's, that's new, a lot of new code. And I just don't think the team's built out to do it at this point. That's why they went this terror zone thing. No, density changes probably wouldn't take much either. Yeah, that, that the, a lot of that stuff are values stored in the database that you can modify. So, I mean, I mean that's, that's what we're looking at. What's up, Cranky? They're, they're going the route of path of least resistance. I guess you could say. Yeah, Zeki, I was like, eh, let's, I haven't found it, you know, as a, obviously ladder's not over yet, so like, let's find an SOJ. I was going to keep count of tr runs, but I, I, I stopped, I didn't. <laughs> I think I'm around 10. And, you know, that Pez, right, he's got to have, more, there's no way that's his only job is being the community manager, because otherwise that's the easiest job in the world, right? Put out a post like once a month. I don't know what else he's, his, he's involved in. Yeah, that's a good question. What is my magic find? He's got to be involved in, that's 423. It's pretty high, actually. I'd be actually be curious to see what else Pez is actually supposed to be involved in. Like again, I think this whole uh, community manager thing is just kind of like a. Oh, by the way, you got to put out the post when we need you to put out a post. <laughs> there's, there's, he's got to have like a, a different job actually. Lens, what's up, dude? Man, hadn't seen you in a while. Yeah, Aaron, I wouldn't disagree with that. I mean, it could be both. It literally could be both. Because, <laughs> I mean, even if it's just a couple dudes, if they're, you know, kind of motivated, they could crank out changes. But then if they're, like, uh, cock-blocked at the management level, then then that's hard to do. <laughs> Navani. If, honestly, dude, if it wasn't for the fact that I've seen pictures, I, I've seen picture of Pez Radar... I, I I wouldn't I, I I would maybe consider that as a theory. Uh, Lens man, we've been bitching about that for for a week now. New ladder, no clue. Again, we're back in the same boat as the previous ladder or the first ladder. No idea when they're actually going to do it. 
Um, we kind of thought maybe they'd end ladder this week. That's not happening because, I mean, it's Thursday. There's no way they turn it off tomorrow or something. They'd give us a little bit of notice. So it's not going to – some people are thinking end of September, which would make it a five-month ladder season, which would be stupid. Uh, so I don't know, man. And we got terror zones, which is – the same stuff with higher monster levels. So, yeah. Mike, that was supposedly worked out, but I very well could be, dude. Yeah, Aaron, that's the point. I mean, they get dragged on. We thought we were going to get it in, like, February, and it was, like, end of April. Yeah, I can. I, obviously. Terror Zone was, like, number one on the list. <laughs> I mean, it does have its uses. I mean, there are guys that want to try and grind to 99. I don't know why those guys would want to do it again, to be perfectly honest. I mean, they had that. I mean, they had their fun little race, and I mean, it. You know, it did. It did draw some people watching it and people getting involved and. I mean, it had its point, but, I mean, is that going to – they think that's going to be the interest of the, all the people come back for Ladder 2? Do they, they honestly think those people want to do the 99 grind race again? I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, Tommy, yeah, that's that's absolutely pointless, right? Because we know – well, we don't know, but I'm, I doubt that the, the chess were changed. Aaron, I I mean, I would just do that organically. I wouldn't try specifically to try to get to 99, but I would do terror zones that were in good areas, which would, you know, naturally get you more XP. So you could potentially get there. I mean, I got to 94 on my Paladin on ladder, not even trying to do level grinds, just, just, just magic finding. So, I mean... I mean, I guess if I was running Terror Zones, I could have probably been, like, pretty close to 99 on the Paladin. Or, for sure, on the Barb if I was running. Because I only ran the Barb. Where's he at? I got the Barb to 92, and I only ran him, like, the last month of Ladder. Lynn's not... Kind of. It's going to be... There's not going to be like new areas. It's like it's going to take an existing area and just up the monster levels for an hour. Like there's a list of terror zones, and say for instance, Travancall becomes a terror zone for that hour. The monsters in Travancall will be what was it, guys? Two levels higher than your character level, up to a max of 96, and then uniques would be up to 99, and up to a max of 99. So they're basically, you could farm more areas for XP outside of Bale and Diablo. No, nah, can it's not going to be a 9. I'm not going to do a 99 race. I, I want a group to, to I want to get us a group that pushes all the way through uh, the three difficulties out of the gate. I'm not, I don't care about the 99 thing. I mean, we might maybe get some groups together to run good terror zones when they pop up or something. Something like that, maybe. But I don't care about 99. I don't ever care if I ever get to 99. That's not on my list of things to do. But if I get there just running terror zones when they're good, I mean, that's fine. I don't, it's not that big a deal. Yeah, right. Once you get up to that, yeah, because once you get to that, that point, then the grind gets tough. Yeah, Linz, I did too, man. I, I enjoyed running the maps. And you could take the maps and corrupt them and make them different. That, that was a cool... Yeah, the, the, the whole maps thing was good. And thing is, with the maps, it didn't actually add new content either. It took existing areas and just added monster density and stuff. I mean, I don't understand it, because there's great ideas out there. They obviously have to know what the uh, other mods have done. And see what's popular based off of that and make make some changes. But here's what I'm thinking. I I feel like 
they don't want to make any change that the, any of the mods did because it would give some of the mods some clout saying that uh, no they didn't add density I'm talking about the uh, the mods themselves Yeah, Aaron. They did. They, they, I mean, that was. I enjoyed. I enjoyed running the maps in Path of Dia or Project Diablo. Now, can there's no? They're just to up the level thing. That's that's all I've seen. I mean, people have been running terror. Some of the terror zones on PTR, and I don't think any of it looks different. <laughs> yeah, that boosted monster density in the red portal zones was a joke. I think they added one more boss pack. <laughs> I think that was literally the density change in the in the um, in the red portal stuff. That's why nobody ever ran them. The density was so bad in those areas. Aaron, I I think I, I didn't finish my point on that. I feel like. They shy away from any change, even though they're really good, that the mods did, like Project Diablo. And for some reason, I think they feel like they don't want to give them... I don't know, clout? I, I, it's hard to say. I, I feel like they're not going to make any changes that any of the mods did. Uh, maybe they feel like they, they think they're stealing ideas. I don't know. I'd steal the hell out of them ideas. Be perfectly honest. I'd, I'd steal them. If I was on the Diablo two, or if on the D two R team, I'd steal the hell out of those ideas. Now, Bone, I don't think they care about them. <laughs> I get your sentiment. I just don't think they care that much about the mod teams on the other projects. I would go. I would look at it the other direction. Like I was saying, I feel like you know they don't want to give them props for coming up with good ideas. Yeah, Aaron, that's why, I mean, look at it. We have not seen them take any idea that any of the other mods have done. Can y'all think of anything that they've done that was already done on the other mods? I can't think of any. I don't know. I just, I, I feel like they don't want, I don't, I don't think they want it to look like they're stealing ideas. Uh, yeah, Aaron, I would agree with that. The quick cast idea was pretty good. Yeah, I, I kind of fought it a little bit at the beginning, but I, I eventually came on board, and I, I can't play without it now. That, that's, that's probably been their best one. Yeah, by far. <laughs>